All right, we're explaining how to repair the light fixtures. Um, there are, I want to start out with uh, defining the components. These are the actual light fixtures with a 20 watt uh, halogen MR16 light bulb in it. This is an extension cord that's supplied by the light fixture manufacturer. These extension cords plug into what we call a manifold and this manifold plugs into the transformer on these units. 90% uh, of the problems that are going on with these units lie within these extension cords. We are going to uh, today show you how to do a replacement on these. Uh, we're going to tell you to unclip these uh, extension cords on the top of the frame displays like this. Frame display may have a bracket like you see here. This can be removed in order to facilitate unclipping this. It's not very important. It's kind of a shipping bracket. This manifold can then be disconnected, the wires from it, completely. These are all to be discarded. This manifold and this transformer will not be used in the repair either. If the, now that the wiring harnesses are removed, you can remove the transformer and the manifold from the display. They're going to be screwed down in some manner. This is double stick tape uh, in place, can just simply get peeled off the display. You obviously have unplugged this from the wall. You're going to remove this entirely. We are sending you a new transformer kit. It consists of a transformer. Manifolds already attached to it. And it comes with a uh, plug end on it. Uh, this can get set on top of the display. It does not need to be attached. You're getting three new extension cords that go in between this manifold and the light fixture. Uh, everything is plug and play. You will simply attach these three pieces to the manifold. And one gets attached to each light fixture. You want to make sure you have three new light bulbs in these units. Uh, this transformer will run either a 20 watt or a 50 watt MR16. Uh, once this is in place, you got to make sure your connections are tight. You can then plug this into your wall outlet. We're going to use an extension cord for demonstration purposes. So you can see the light fixtures are all on. At the top of the display, I'm recommending that you grab these wires from either end. They're low voltage, so they are harmless. And just pull and jerk on these cords. Make sure there's no light flickering whatsoever. If you get any uh, flickering in these lights, there may be something wrong with the connections on the light fixtures themselves. Uh, but uh, you should not have any flickering uh, on these uh, joints once you're done. And uh, that concludes the repair of this style. Uh, this is the second style of light fixture that you may encounter. Uh, the the, the uh, light arms are slightly different. Um, we're always recommending that you start out this repair with three new light bulbs in here. Uh, the new transformer will handle a 20 or a 50 watt light bulb. Uh, you will find a transformer on this style that says hair on it and it has uh, a manifold attached to it. Uh, these uh, wires coming out of these light fixtures happen to be longer and uh, they negate the use of any type of extension cord that was used on the first style. Uh, simply, once again, we're going to ask you to disconnect the light fixtures from the manifold remove the hair uh, transformer, it's double stick to your display, it'll tear off, uh, pull this entire unit out and discard it. We are then going to replace it with the new unit, uh, same piece that was on the uh, last uh, 
uh, audio. Um, this has a manifold on it. Once again, this is simply going to uh, plug into this. Same way it did on the last series. Get all three of these in your manifold. Press them down very tight. Here there's enough length in these wires uh, to go right to the manifold. You will get these extension wires in this kit. You do not need them if these wires are long enough. You'll simply plug this back into the 110 volt wall outlet. 